Hey guys, Ramon1F here, back with a new video and today we are gonna look at another case um, This is the case of a sad error that has been made by the Dutch justice system um, It's also sad in the sense how it ended up for the victim and the wrongfully accused people So with any further ado, let's get into the video Intro. The Patton's murder case has come to be known as the rape and murder of a 23-year-old flight attendant, Crystal Ambrosius. On January 9, 1994, in her grandmother's house in Patton, Helderland. The two brothers-in-law, Wilco Vietz and Herman de Bois from Patton, were sentenced in 1995 to 10 years in prison for this crime. They were released in 2002 after serving two-thirds of the sentences. They were acquitted in 2002 in a review procedure on appeal. In 2008, a new suspect, Ronald P, was arrested. He was sentenced on appeal to 18 years in prison. Because of the wrongfully conviction of Vietz and the Bois, the Putin's murder case is known as one of the largest miscarriages of justice in the Netherlands in recent decades. The facts. Christian Ambrosius, born December 1st, 1970 in Hardewijk, was found dead on January 9th, 1994 in her grandmother's house in the woods near Patten. One large sperm drop on Crystal's leg and two numb body hairs were found as the main traces. A large number of people from Patten were interviewed during the investigation. The same goes for the men, Wilco Vietz and Herman de Bois, Willem Betting and Gerard Chouchard, who drove round through the woods in an old Mercedes on the weekends. Because a number of hikers testified that they saw a Mercedes driving around the afternoon of the murder, the men were immediately suspect. Research. The four men were subjected to a series of interrogations. The police fed them with criminal knowledge, and the men were shown details of the statement made by the other suspects. Two of the four men accused the eventually convicted Vitz and de Bois of the murder of Ambrosius. Reconstruction. On the basis of the statement made, the police made the following reconstruction. On the Sunday afternoon, when Crystal Ambrosius was murdered, the four men, as usual, went for a drive in the woods, in the Mercedes. When they saw Crystal cycling, Viet and Was got out and walked with her to Crystal's grandmother's house. The two other men drove for a little while, got out too, walked back to the cottage their friend has entered with Crystal and saw from the front yard through the window Crystal being strangled, raped and then murdered by the friends. The men did not intervene, but waited for their friends and then they ran away together. When it turned out that no trace of Viet and the Bois was found, in and around the house of Crystal's grandmother, 
the police came up with the so-called drag theory. The main evidence, a drop of semen on the victim's body, turned out not to come from one of the suspects. This was then explained by saying that it came from previous voluntary sexual contact with a third party, who has never been identified. The case attracted the attention of Peter R. de Vries. Viets and Dubois were eventually sentenced to 10 years in prison in October 1995. The two friends of the convicts who said they saw Crystal Ambrosius being raped and murdered were not sentenced. Criticism and acquittal. In 1999, former Chief Commissioner Jan Blau, engaged by Peter R. de Vries, wrote a letter containing eight points of criticism to the Minister of Justice. This letter led to the parliamentary questions but not to a review of the verdict. A year later, a book by Blau about the case was published in which the police were accused of tunnel vision. The two men who were released in 2002, after serving two-thirds of their sentences, have maintained their innocence. Following a request for revision submitted by Heer John Knoops, the Supreme Court decided on June 26, 2001 that the trial has been reopened. On April 24, 2002, the two convicts were finally formally acquitted. Fitz and Was received a damage claim together. So that's all for this case guys, I hope you found this video informative, um, pretty interesting how the court justice system dealt with it here in the Netherlands, um, very sad, yeah, sad story, but let me know what you think about it, uh, would you like me to make more case videos, would you like me to do different stuff, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to look at it, yeah guys, uh, like, subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace.